Hi, friends. Michael Albert here. Um, I started out by showing you my abstract collage, which is made from little bits and pieces of colors and patterns from all different packages that I uh, cut from cereal boxes and cookie boxes and crackers and all sorts of cardboard packages of things that we get at the store. And um, I'm going to show you a few suggested ideas on how you can use colors from packages to do a couple of different project ideas. What I've been doing for a number of years now is making different types of artworks out of these packages. Um, one of my projects is just cutting a box up into pieces like this, Frosted Flakes box, and making a collage out of it. But I'm going to show you a few different ideas of what you might want to do just using the color of the package. And to do this project, what you need is, um, ideally what you would need is a few different types of boxes. So maybe you want to look around your house and see what kind of packages you have that come in cardboard boxes. I mean, besides the cookies, the crackers, and the cereal boxes, some other ideas might be tea boxes or soda cartons, ice cream um, pops sometimes come in a cardboard box, frozen pizza, Ziploc bags, uh, you know, all, all the store brands um, that you that you could get different things all come in cardboard, band-aids, toothpaste, um, you get the idea. And depending on what boxes you're able to accumulate might also determine what type of project you want to do. So now I'm going to show you how to uh, make one of these flags, these American flags. And um, I've shown you a couple of ideas. This is one of my flags where I used uh, angular pieces. There's no stars and stripes, but you can tell that it's an American flag because it's a rectangle and because the blue and white is in one corner and the rest of it is red and white. Uh, here's another one where I actually did cut stripes and I'm going to show you a couple of quick ways that I like to make flags. First, as far as the board that you're going to use, I showed you earlier that you could use the back of a writing pad. This is a great piece of cardboard for a flag. Um, I'm going to use the back of this Cheerio box and I'm going to trim the box to make it a little smaller. even smaller. So here's a rectangle. Um, I cut out this piece, which I like because it's got white pieces on a blue background, which uh, can represent the stars. And I'm going to lay that out in the corner. And then I've picked through my box over here of assorted packages. These are all the kind of packages I've collected. You could see Girl Scout cookies and Swiss Miss cocoa and bacon bacon, Ritz crackers, Cheerios. But I took out over here some of the red, white, and blue packages that I had. Here's a Captain Crunch box. Here's a Colgate toothpaste. The Ziploc's got some nice blue on it. And even this Raisin Bran Crunch has got some blue on the bottom. Um, for the Colgate, since it's red with white letters on it, here I can cut it into strips and just lay them out on my board. There's no really set way that you need to do this. It could be, you know, you come up with the way you want to lay it out. Actually, it could even be a combination of stripes 
and angular pieces to mix it up a little bit. Okay. And then one other thing that I like to do is I like to put my initials MA in my work when I can. So here, let me show you how I can do that. So I cut a little piece of red because I'm going to have it in the red section. And I'm going to make an M right here. I'll put that here on the flag. And then for the A, I'm gonna find an A. I see a nice A here on the Captain Crunch I'm gonna use. Trim off the edges of it so we don't have too much blue. And then just put the A right there. Can you see how I have the M and the A? So now what I'm going to do is to glue these pieces down. And the glue that I use is a special acid-free archival glue that's also white and dries clear, just like Elmer's. So first thing I'm going to do is take this blue piece that's going to be the corner. And like I said, to me, the white pieces kind of represent the stars. And I'm going to put some glue on here. I put a little bit on and then I use my finger and wipe it all around. You wipe the extra on a box. And then I place it where I want it to be. Hold it down for a few seconds. And by what by spreading the glue out on the back, I make sure that there's not too much on there. And even though I have some extra on my fingers, I can use that to wipe it on some of these other pieces and even some of this excess that I just had. And start putting some of these other pieces down where I want them. And then just put a little bit on there and use your finger and spread it out and then place the piece just where you want it to be. This is coming together nicely. Just a few more pieces to glue down. Finishing gluing down these strips. Whenever there's a little glue that comes off the edge, I just wipe it off with my finger. Now I'm gonna put my initials on there. M.A. for Michael Albert. And this is the way that I kind of sign my work. You don't have to do this, you don't have to do any of this. You could figure out how to do it the way you want to do it. Whoops. That's the beauty of this project. These are just some suggested ideas. Whoops. And finally, I'm going to just glue these last few pieces down. have a little extra glue on my finger. You can see how I wipe it on there so that I could use these pieces. And if any glue gets on the pieces, since these boxes have a nice coating on them, it's easy to wipe off. It's one of the reasons I don't necessarily work with magazines or printed stuff like that, because if you get glue on a magazine picture, it's hard, but you can't wipe it off because then it makes it smudge. But, uh, anyway, I'm going to do some more filling in to, to complete this piece. But you can see 
you get the general idea. You can cut the pieces just, like I said, any way you like. Find red, white, and blue from different boxes that you have. And, um, and most importantly, have fun. And I'd love to see your work. You could send your pictures to, uh, send your pictures in and maybe they can post them. Okay? All right, friends. Thanks so much. See you later.